Thank you, Ms. Deepa. Chief guest this evening, Dr. R. Sita Raman, Mrs. Sangeeta Sita Raman, President of our school, Mr. Hassan Chogle, Vice President, Mr. Yasser Nainar, esteemed members of the Executive Committee, members of the Management Committee, the better halves, very proud parents, my team of key functionaries, teachers, or should I call them my family, and my little loving students, and of course my proud alumnus, Mr. Amir Shams. A very good evening. Good evening. Should I say it's a gathering of about 1,800 people and the good evening is not so good. Good evening. That's good. This evening is one of those very, very special evenings in the calendar of a school. It's the 18th annual day of our school. And as the principal of this school, I'm humbled, and I also at the same time feel very proud to be standing in front of you. Proud, privileged, to be heading an institution which we call a school with a difference. If you would have seen that we started the program and very soon you saw two events that passed by just right in front of you, which clearly declare that we believe in excellence. We believe in organizing things that would reflect what our value system stands for. It's been 18 long years since this institution has been established. It's the sweat and blood and the huge investment of time, energy, of so many people. I think every single person who's been associated with DPS Modern Indian School deserves a big round of applause for making it what it is today and paving the path for a new building, a new campus very soon. It wouldn't be for all the values that we follow that we are here, standing tall in spite of whatever odd difficulties that we may be facing. The nursery annual day, which was held a few days before, and a few parents may be having siblings in the nursery annual day, you would have been witness to the fact that our annual day set a new benchmark. It was so excellent to see 420 children on stage. Today, we have about 600 plus students on stage. And let me tell you that this is one of the biggest exercises in management of human beings, management of resources. We have 320 teachers who have worked backstage to make this event possible. Every single thing that you see, probably I must say 320 because when we started the school, we had 200 students. Today we have 320 teachers. That speaks volumes of the school. In that event, we had a chief guest, Ms. Fatima al kubesi and she mentioned two things, and I'll repeat those two things. She said something about excellence and how it costs the school. She mentioned that fee, with the fee that we collect, it's impossible to maintain standards, and she was wowed with the standards that we maintain. While she was leaving, she said, what should I do to have a model of a school like yours? Because she's in the education line, she runs schools. And she was just looking at it and saying, we collect about 40,000 and still not able to give this type of excellence or this type of quality. How on earth are you able to give this? This speaks volumes against, of, again, about my patron, my management, my teachers, and my students who work very hard to produce those results that we can see visibly way ahead of others. We set benchmarks with regard to our academics and our activities. We balance them very delicately. It's very easy to come, teach, and go. It's very difficult to inspire, give life opportunities, hands-on activities to our children, and we dare to do that. And we dare to do it and do it well. The large number of awards that we receive, one of the events I remember, it was the Students uh, Science India Forum event. Literally, the second secretary of the embassy said, Madam, what is the magic? Out of about 16 awards, 14 have gone to DPS for scientific temperament amongst the students. How on earth is this possible? It's possible because of the dedication of everybody involved in this. Similarly, we have just written 
a board examination for grade 10. It's the first examination after CCE got moved and the new examination system has come back. And very surprisingly, bang on, we have got two toppers in the entire Gulf. It's 156 Indian schools in the Gulf region. We have, a Kata, we have topper position one, position two, both students from DPS Modern Indian School, speaking volumes of what we follow as a value system. You must be wondering the title of this event, Vivartana. Vivartana in Sanskrit means transformation. We strongly believe that we are who we are because of our past, and we will be the custodians of the value system which has not been transformed and should not be transformed. I meet a lot of young parents who come to me saying, it's very difficult to control our children. They don't listen to us. Ma'am, please advise what we should do. I think it's our eroding value system that is making your child, your parent, and you the one who's following instructions from the child. Please, as parents who are in large numbers gathered here, remember that what your parents taught you, the value system that your parents taught you, the way they got you to understand things, that's exactly what you have to do with your young children. Agreed technology has taken over. Agreed everything is changing, but in a changing scenario, still hold on to your value system. On this occasion, I would like to mention Mr. Sita Raman as one of those embodiments of values. I remember meeting Sir and his mother in the airport launch. I was just passing by, and I wish Sir Sir was with his mother, and it was amazing. Good is the airport and the flight is on. Uh, Sir was so, so, so humble. He got up, he folded both his hands, and introduced me to his mother saying, she, she, she's the principal of our children, our, your grandchildren. And Amma had the, I don't know, humble behavior. She folded both her hands and she said, Vanakam. What values are these? These are the values that I think we must be learning to respect our teachers. If you don't respect your teachers, you have a failing schooling system. Please understand this. The moment you're going to speak evil about your teachers, about your school, your children are the ones who are going to suffer. Mind you, it's nobody else. The school will go on. The school will carry forward what it has to carry forward. But you're failing to acknowledge and Give credit to your school is what makes a difference. So please, parents, be those sensible parents who understand what the value system is. And values, especially Indian value system, the teacher is considered the guru. Understand this. Respect the fact that getting gurus is not easy. Thankfully, DPS Modern Indian School has 320 such gurus. Rever those gurus. Respect them so that your children benefit from it. Sir, it's your humble efforts, I can see, that you stick on to your value system, and no wonder Doha Bank is doing so well. Whatever the crisis in the market may be, we still see Sir in the pictures, in the newspapers. He's there doing wonderful things, making the Indian community proud. What a way to go, Sir. Thank you. And should I say this evening is very special because I have my own student, and I think teachers are the only other people other than parents who feel very proud when their children do much, much better than them. We as teachers swell with pride when we see our child coming, meeting us, doing well in life. And I have a large alumni who's doing very well, various fields from neuroscience to uh, artificial intelligence to design to being following the passion cricket or table tennis or golf to being people who are event managers, businessmen. Wow, such a gratifying, satisfying job this is to be a teacher and to die a teacher. Thank you to the entire team of teachers. Thank you to Miss Mary and Miss Soma who make me proud because of the results. Untiring remedial action, untiring efforts after school hours, following up with every single child with behavioral, emotional, learning disabled children, and getting those results for the school. Thank you so much. And in my, I would fail if I didn't acknowledge Mr. Hamam, Ms. Aisha, and the entire EC for the excellent support that they give us every step that we move forward. We have you all, sir. Thank you so much for that wonderful support, your encouragement, your support, and your understanding. Help us to carry forward the values of our school. We call ourselves 
a school with a difference. We are very proud to be a school with a difference. My children do follow great values which we have in our school, at home, so that you become better human beings, good human beings, like our vision mission says, global citizens who understand global values and contribute globally. Thank you, good evening, enjoy Vivartana. The present contains the past. We could do nothing without the past and we need to contain and hold on to our values so that we have a better future. Thank you.